This video demonstrates how to use the Sage System Administrator to backup and restore your Sage 300 construction and real estate data. Your data contains valuable information about your company's day-to-day -day operations and finances. In the event of hardware failure, virus, or natural disasters, your Sage 300 construction and real estate software can be reinstalled, but your data could quite possibly be lost forever. That's why it's so important to back up your data on a regular basis to prevent against accidental loss. Prior to version 17.1, you can use file tools or a third-party utility to back up and restore your data. Beginning in 17.1, these functions are also available in the Sage System Administrator. File tools only lets you back up your pervasive data files. If you don't replicate your data into SQL Server for mobile projects or reporting, you can continue to use file tools to back up your data, although we recommend that you use the system administrator. This is because it not only backs up data files, but other essential Sage 300 construction and real estate program files stored in the 9.5 folder of where your 300 CRE software is installed. These include report and inquiry designs, formula files, menus, and so on. The system administrator creates a more comprehensive backup, and you can also set it up to backup your files automatically on a schedule. If you copy your data from Pervasive into SQL Server, the system administrator also backs up the SQL data. If you use the SQL replicator to replicate your data, to ensure data integrity, you must use the System Administrator to create your backups. The Sage System Administrator is on your accounting server. Log on as a local admin and locate it in the Sage Administration group. If you replicate your data into SQL Server, you'll be prompted to connect to the SQL Server instance. This window does not appear if you do not replicate your data. Click Backup. Your company folders are listed in the table. Check the box for the folder that you want to include in the backup. The default for the files to backup is set to All. This means that the backup will also include files that you added in your pervasive company folder, like print files or other file types. If you want to exclude these files, choose Data Only. This option includes the pervasive data files and folders only. Remember, both the All and Data Only options will back up the program files in the 9.5 folder of where 300 CRE is installed. And if you use the SQL Replicator to replicate your data, the backup will include the data stored in SQL Server. Indicate other files or folders that you want to include in the backup. For example, if you have a folder for custom report designs or data folders specified in file locations that are not already included in the list. Specify the location for the backup files. You can set it up to backup automatically on a daily basis. Remember to select a time when the data is not in use. If you use the SQL Replicator to replicate your data, that service is paused during the backup process and resumes when the backup is completed. Remember to save any changes you made to your settings. The backup process will create one zip file that includes all the data folders selected, additional folders or files that are specified, and the 300 CRE program files. Let's create an immediate backup to look at this in detail. Click Backup Now. Each backup is a zip file named with the date and time it was created. Within each backup, the info and log files tell you when the backup was created and the contents. If there are any errors, they will be listed here. The pervasive version of your company data is in the Company Data folder. If you have service management, purchasing, and inventory, that data is included. Your 300 CRE program files are in the Program Data folder.
while the SQL Server version of your data is in the SQL Databases folder. As with any backup, we recommend that you validate and test the backup to ensure that the process is working properly as environmental issues and files in use can affect the integrity of a backup. Next, let's see how the restore function works. Only those in your company with knowledge of the 300 CRE file systems and SQL Server should restore data, because incorrectly doing so will result in data integrity issues. Note that if you share files between folders, for example, you use file locations and you have two separate companies using the same general ledger files, you must restore all the folders affected. Otherwise, you'll have data integrity issues. Before you restore data, remember to ask all users to exit 300CRE and any integrated software applications because if any files are open during the restore, the operation will fail. Select Restore in the System Administrator and locate your backup file. Again, before you begin the restore process, ask everyone to exit the software. If you use the SQL Replicator, the process will pause the replication and resume it when the restore is completed. Click Restore. Read the notice carefully and acknowledge it before you continue. Select the company data that you want to restore. You can restore the pervasive data to its original location or to another location. If you restore to the original location and your original data folder is still there, it will rename the original folder to something else and then restore the backup folder. If you replicate your data into SQL Server, you must also restore the SQL data for data integrity. Leave this box checked. If you also need to restore your 300 CRE program files, check the Restore Global Folders box. This restores the contents of the 95 folder to its original location. If a 95 folder exists in that location, it will be renamed before restoring the backup. Here's a summary of the actions it will perform. You can click back to adjust your selections if needed. Click Next to start the process. It will let you know when the process is done, and there's even a log if you want to check the details of the actions performed during the restore. We recommend that you open your 300 CRE software to make sure that the data is correct.